Okay, so let's talk about hosting. Hosting is probably one of the least sexy things to talk about when it comes to your your website, but it's actually one of the most important things. So here are some things you need to know about hosting. There are a ton of free website creators out there. So they will help you create the website and they will help you host the website. Most of these are Blogger, Weebly, Wix, WordPress.org or WordPress.com. Those are the ones that will help you set up your website immediately. It's usually drag and drop templates, so they're pretty dang easy to use. The next option is paid website creators. So most of these are the Squarespaces and Shopify's of the world. So these ones have beautiful templates ready to go. All you have to do is pay a monthly fee. So generally speaking, I'm a big, big fan of self-hosting. So this means going through a Bluehost or a HostGator or something of the sort to do your hosting. And the reason why is because for the free website creators, you will generally have a, let's say your website's WhitneyHanson.com. Instead of WhitneyHanson.com, it would actually be WhitneyHanson.wordpress.com or WhitneyHanson.blogger.com. And so usually with that, the credibility is really important and people just don't seem to trust or think that the .wordpress kind of websites are as credible. So it's really important that you have your own hosting. Now with the paid website creators, you would have a WhitneyHanson.com or something of that sort. That one, they would do that for you. However, the issue with paid website creators is that they tend to be a little bit spendy. So you're spending anywhere between $20 and $50 a month just to have this Uh, taken place and you're really overpaying for what it is unless it's a Shopify if you're going into e-commerce and you have a ton of different SKUs or a lot of different inventory that might make sense to go through that platform but if you're just creating a basic landing page and maybe you're selling a couple things and nothing too crazy or a blog then self-hosting is the best way to go. So the thing to think about is when you are deciding whether or not you need to do self-hosting or just go through the free website creators You don't own the site or the content until you buy your own hosting. You just don't. So it's really important that you take that pretty seriously and learn all of the ins and outs of hosting. So here is my recommendation. WordPress.org works perfectly fine with self-hosting. So the hosting company that I personally use and I'm a really big fan of is Bluehost. And the reason I'm a big fan of Bluehost is because you get unlimited domains. So you can have like 5, 10, 15, 20 even domains all within one hosting account. So that's pretty dang cool. You get unlimited transfers. We're not going to get into transfers in this training because it's, it's an important thing to know, but it's not really critical at this stage in the game. You get a free domain when you sign up. So remember in the last lesson when I said don't buy your domain quite yet, that's because when you sign up for Bluehost, you get your own free domain. And it also has a one-click WordPress install, which makes life so dang easy. You're going to see exactly how easy this is. So the one-click WordPress install is super easy to use, and that is really, truly, that's all you need. And not to mention with Bluehost, you also get 24-7 support. So that's pretty dang cool. So you can email, call anytime, 24-7 to get your questions answered. So not too shabby. And all of this is just $6 a month. So that's like the the mid-tier package, the one that I recommend, because you get unlimited domains. So it's totally worth the cost. It's really pretty inexpensive. And you have complete control over your content and your website. And not to mention, your website will pretty much never go down. I mean, it might on occasion. I've never had that happen. I've heard that it can happen, but I personally have never experienced that in probably about five or six years that I've been with Bluehost myself. Okay, so now I'm going to walk you guys through all of the details of setting up your Bluehost site. So I, if you would like to use my affiliate link, that would mean the world to me. You don't have to, but if you do choose to use my affiliate link, I do get compensated for that. And that link is WhitneyHanson.com slash Bluehost. And that will also get you that special deal. It'll knock off a little bit of the cost and give you a little bit of savings and get you signed up for your free domain right now. So let's go ahead and walk you through exactly how to set up your hosting.